Hey there everybody, welcome back. It's just another Average Stacker, or Jazz as some of you have come to know me by. Uh, had an interesting thought process. Many of you know or are aware of the situation that Wells Fargo had last week. Uh, Thursday where their computer systems all went down. Uh, I don't know a whole lot of the details, just some of the reports that I've been hearing um, where people could not access their money. Plain and simple, their debit cards wouldn't work, ATMs wouldn't work, um, they couldn't get it online to log into their accounts and so forth. And many people found themselves stuck with no access to any funds that they may need to spend. Uh, and it really got me thinking from a personal standpoint, um, because in this digital society of banking, um, I've fell into that trap of, I never use cash. I never carry cash. Uh, it's just something that I just don't do anymore. And it's just become too easy to, to swipe my whatever card I want to use, whether it be my debit card or my cashback credit card or whatever it may be, and then just deal with the payments of that later on. Uh, and it, it really got me thinking and really took to heart about making sure that if for some unknown reason my banking system went down, how would it affect me? And while I've got m different sources to be able to pay for things, um, it never hurts to have some of that cash on hand. So uh, I went up to the bank today and actually I did this on Sunday uh, and hit my ATM, took out the maximum available, or allowable, should I say, not available, and put it in the safe. And I wanted, to, was going to try and do that over a couple of days to just pull out and just have some funds set aside, stuff that we're not ten, intending on using for anything, it's just savings that we have, and just put some in the safe. And that way I've got a backup plan. So with the ATM limiting out to a certain amount of dollars, I wanted to be able to have access to more than that. So I was driving near my bank this afternoon on my way home from work and said, oh, let me go ahead and just stop by the bank and I'll just go ahead and pull some more out. And funny part about it is I was... On Bill J version 2's uh, live stream today, I try and pop in on his live stream as he's doing his searches and looking through half dollars and so forth. Mainly, we've really kind of connected because it turns out that we happen to live very, very close to each other, uh, probably within a five-minute drive. Uh, just sheer coincidence. Uh, we got talking about the weather and how similar our weather was. And turns out, yep, he's right down the street from me. Uh, we don't know exactly where each other lives. Uh, we haven't met as of yet. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if we ran into each other at the grocery store. Um, and so, anyhow, he was doing his uh, coin roll hunting. And he had asked me if I had had any issues with picking up halves recently. And I told him I had never even bought any because I had looked into my bank and asked if they would order in a box for me. And they said no. So I just said, okay, whatever. And this was probably six, eh, no, I wouldn't say six months ago. Three months ago or so. So another thing about it was, well, I really don't want to dump them back at the same bank that I'm getting them from. And I really only have one bank that I deal with on a regular basis. So I didn't really feel ethical to buy a whole bunch of them and then dump them right back to them and ask for some more. So while I was at the bank today and I was withdrawing some cash and the gentleman asked me how I would like it. And I told him large bills were fine. Um, I have small bills set aside from the ATM withdrawal that I made on Sunday. And I said, and if you happen to have any half dollars. Let me see about getting a hundred dollars worth of those. And I really expected him to say no right off the bat. 
Um, so anyhow, he, he comes back from the back room, and lo and behold, we've got $100 worth of half dollars. So this is my very first coin roll hunting video. I really didn't know that I would ever do this. But things have been kind of slow on the purchasing front, and so I haven't really had any unboxing videos to do. Um, after I kind of went overboard in January, I've, I've scaled back, get back, getting back to my basics. And I had thrown these out because these are constitutional quarters. And we're going to see if we can find some constitutional halves. In, in this $100 set of rolls. One thing I will start off by saying right off is I have never done this before. I am not educated on key dates. I don't know really what an NIFC is. I All I know is that 1965s are 40% and prior to that are 90%. So these actually will not be going back to, as a dump to the bank. These are just going to get set in my safe as part of that money that I pulled out to have access to. So I don't have that ethical issue in my own head. Um, and we're going to see if we can happen to find some silver in here. So I really don't know how long this all takes. So I'm going to film it all and we'll upload it and we'll see what happens. Um, and very first time of unwrapping a roll of half dollars and I'm just gonna find a bag to put these in or something yeah that shows my inexperience right there and first the the edge test I really don't see anything outstanding to me and I'm just going to sort through and actually just from the sake of video time I'll sort through these for dates and so forth I'm just going to go just do an edge search right now and then I'll come back and do a little recap if we happen to have found anything and uh, we'll see if we can find some make some free money from the US government these are Loomis rolls I don't know. I know there's people talk about different types of bank rolls and so forth, and one's better than the other. I couldn't begin to tell you what might be or might not be, um, as I said. Um, this appears to be another dud. But anyhow, it was funny how I was, I was joking around with Bill J today. And if you haven't seen his channel and you do like to coin roll hunt, uh, check his channel out. It's Bill J version 2. I'm assuming that there was a previous version and something happened and he created a secondary channel. I'm, I don't know where that comes from. Uh, but check his channel out. It's pretty cool. Ooh, that's a shiny one. Yeah, maybe not. Not really. Um, but check his channel out. He, he pretty much does a box of $500 every single day. Um, I'm sure the banks just love seeing him day in and day out. Uh, but he goes through a lot and he's been on a little bit of a, um, streak with not finding anything recently, uh, from what I remembered him saying. So, we're going to see if we can find something on our very first try at this. And the nice thing about it is that I wasn't going out of my way to, to get these. I was already at the bank. It was just money that was coming back to the house. So, I was there. I said, hey, what do you think? And no problem. And... So we've got gone through four rolls out of our ten so far with nothing out of the ordinary that I see with my eyes.
I would love to just find one. Just one. Well, obviously, I would love to find more than one, but um, I, I would love to not get skunked. I don't have high expectations. Pretty sure that's a clad. Oh, yeah. So I don't have high expectations, but I hadn't put a video out in a little while and figured what the heck, let's give it a shot. And uh, we'll put out a quick little video, see, see if we can get any type of uh, acknowledgements from the community. Um, those of you that do this on a, on a regular basis, please make sure you leave me some comments on what you find um, that would be helpful to me. Um, as I said, I, I am clueless when it comes to constitutional silver and key dates and something that might be worth more than just the 50 cent face value. Um, after I go through all these, I'm going to um, do some little bit of education for myself about that. Um, see what are some key dates and just try and educate myself a little bit about this whole thing. Um, I understand that as time goes on, there's less and less and less in circulation because of people like Bill J that take all of our constitutional silver out for really cheap and, and others that are out there. And I do say that jokingly, good, good on them. Um, but every time one of us goes through this process, a little bit less is in circulation. And that means there's less to find down the road for somebody else like me that's just new to this and so we're almost through the 10 rolls <clears throat> um, I understand that there are, are proofs NIFC's um, and I real like I said, I, I really don't know what is I know it stands for not intended for circulation, but outside of that I don't know what years that started. So please leave me some feedback. Uh, leave me some pointers. Um, help help me educate myself on this. Um, because it's something that could be just fun just to kill some time. Um, and creating some content for you guys to watch to educate me back on. So here is our last roll. We're 9 out of 10 and we've been skunked so far from what I can tell. Um, and I probably could have gotten more but I didn't want to seem like a nut with the teller. And really I didn't want to have more than $100 of this stuff sitting around in my safe taking up space and so forth so and what I'll probably end up doing is just using these as spending money uh, for running to the local store or something uh, but it does appear that we have been skunked which is quite alright that was my initial anticipation of what would end up happening here um, so I'm going to go through and we're going to Put some of this real stuff back into the frame here uh, and see if they check all the dates to actually see what it, they actually are see if I may have missed something because I really don't know exactly what I'm looking at uh, other than those shiny silver edges that you happen to see standing out so anyhow like I said I, after I go through all these I'll post a quick little update to see if we have anything. Um, and I thank you for stopping by. See you soon with a quick update. And just like that, we have, through the magic of technology, taken the time to go through all um, 200 of these half dollars. 
And what I found kind of funny as I was going through all the dates and everything and checking all the dates is how many bicentennials there were. Um, we ended up with, these are all bicentennials right here. I think there were 34 of them out of 200, uh, which just shocked me that there'd be that high of a percentage. Um, I also, in the meantime, have learned key dates such as 1980, or excuse me, NIFC dates, uh, 1987 and then 2002 to present, um, which we did not have any of those in there, um, unfortunately. Um, but one of the things that I'm not sure of still, and I'm going to still do some more research, but maybe you guys can help me out because you've been doing this a heck of a lot longer than I have, are determining if a coin is a proof or not. Um, I've got a few picked out here um, because of, mainly just because of how shiny they are in their overall condition. I think that these are just normal, just happen to be in really good condition, um, but I'm not sure. And the first one that we have is a 1993. And I think, correct me if I'm wrong, the way to be able to tell a proof is that the the head of the Kennedy will be frosted, whereas the background is mirrored. Um, and if that's the case, then no, none of these are proofs. But um, I'm going to pick out the shiniest one here just to see if we can get a really good close-up of it. Um, one is just kind of pretty. It's a 1998. Um, and just wanted to get a close-up of this to see if by chance you guys could tell me whether or not that would be a proof. I don't believe it is based upon a little bit of reading that I've done but like I said you guys know a lot of, more about this than I do um, so leave me some feedback let me know what you think do you coin roll hunt? do you open up rolls? Do you think it's a complete waste of time? If you do it, how often are you successful? Let me know. Give me some feedback. Just another average stacker saying have a great evening and hug your loved one tonight because you just never know what tomorrow may bring. Thank you very much, guys. Good night.